Welcome. Good morning, children. How are you doing this week? Hope you're having a good week. I hope you're having a lovely Sunday. Wherever you are, what you're doing, you might even slap your pyjamas on. Well, that would be nice. That would be nice, yes. It's a special week this week for lots and lots of reasons. If you're at school, it's a special week because your Easter holidays will start at the end of the week. And I think it might be a short week as well, only four days. Yeah, four and a bit days. Some schools will finish a little bit early. Oh, that's exciting. It's really exciting. It's also a special week for us at church. It's a week that we celebrate in the life of Jesus and it's called Holy Week. And we look at lots of different things that Jesus did on this special week of his life. And it's a special week for Highfield kids too, because at the end of the week, it will be Good Friday. And there's a special Highfield kids on Good Friday, looking at Easter at 10 o'clock in the morning. So set your alarms, write it on the calendar. We will be back on Friday morning. We'll be here. Now, this week, you are gonna have something delivered on Wednesday or Thursday. And it's a little bit of something that might tempt you but if you could keep it really safe and bring it to Good Friday, all will become super clear. So we're going to deliver something that you need for the service on Good Friday. So do you sound like you can do that? Amazing. That sounds good. Now, if you haven't already registered with us, either when we were called Shine or now for Highfield Kids, if you haven't registered your children and you would like a little pack of something to join us on Good Friday, all is not lost. You could just email me at children at highfield.church. My name's Helen and we can get something to you. The only caveat is you need to be local. Yeah, Southampton to area only, please. It'd be great if you were in Southampton. But that will all become clear when you get a delivery. Today has a special name. Does anyone know what it is? Mm. Is this familiar? We sometimes see these once a year at church, don't we? Normally at this time of year they come out. It's a palm cross. Because today is Palm Sunday. And we're going to look at what happened on Palm Sunday. Are you ready? Then let's sing. King of love and grace, my God, yield all my hopes and fears.
week, we've got somebody else, this time from Cornerstone, doing God's big story with actions. Take it away, Kenya. Created the world. He loved what he had made. Humans turned their backs on God. God called them back, but they didn't listen. Their sin kept them separate from God. God sent his son Jesus down to earth. Jesus died on a cross and paid the price for sin. Jesus made it possible for people to be friends with God again. God promises that one day we will all live forever with him in heaven. Now it's time to find out what happened on Palm Sunday. We've got an amazing video made by Luke. I hope you're sitting comfortably and let's watch. In the watch. days before Passover, Jesus and his disciples began their journey to Jerusalem. As he was getting near Bethphage and Bethany on the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples on ahead. He told them, go into the next village where you'll find a young donkey that has never been ridden. Untie the donkey and bring it here. If anyone asks, why are you doing that? Just say, the Lord needs it. They went off and found everything just as Jesus had said. While they are untying the donkey, its owners asked, Why are you doing that? They answered, The Lord needs it. Then they led the donkey to Jesus. They put some of their clothes on its back and helped Jesus get on. As he rode along, the people spread their clothes on the road in front of him, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. When Jesus was starting down the Mount of Olives, his large crowd of disciples were happy and praised God because of all the miracles they had seen. They shouted, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory to God. Some Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, make your disciples stop shouting. But Jesus answered, if they keep quiet, these stones will start shouting. Thank you, Luke, for that awesome video. Luke's normally behind the camera for a Sunday, but today you might have spotted him on the screen. Today is when we start thinking about the last week of Jesus' life or Holy Week, as it's called in the Christian calendar. Can you think of anything else that happens this week? We have Jesus washing his disciples' feet. The Last Supper meal, which we celebrate when we have communion. Jesus praying in the garden. All leading to him dying on Good Friday and coming back to life on Easter Sunday which we celebrate in a couple of days' time, in a week's time. Sorry, my apologies. Today is called Palm Sunday, as we said earlier. And you might have seen palm crosses, like this one, at churches before. It's when we think about Jesus coming into Jerusalem. Why do you think it's called Palm Sunday? Hmm. If you remember from the story, the people put their coats and their branches out on the road when Jesus was travelling. And the branches were palm branches. So that's where the name Palm Sunday comes from. The people were really happy to see Jesus shouting praises, hallelujah, praise God, about Jesus and calling him king. They thought that Jesus was going to be the king and ruler of just the Jews. That he was going to fight against a Roman army who was currently in charge of the Jews and set the Jewish people free, which they wanted. But Jesus didn't come to be a fighter. Jesus came to bring peace and came to be king over everyone. The whole of creation, Jews, non-Jews, Romans, non-Romans, everyone. And everyone in the whole world. Then and now, me and you. And if the people weren't able to praise him, 
that even the rocks would have cried out. So the whole of creation wanted to praise Jesus. Jesus didn't come as a great big military ruler with a gigantic army of lots of horses in armour, ready to fight like the Jews expected. He came as a servant king, washing people's feet, helping others, healing the sick and riding on a donkey. He came to set people free from their sin, not free from the Romans, and free from the sin and shame that gets in the way of our relationship with God. So not just the Jewish people would be free, but everybody in the whole wide world. And Jesus can set us free from the things we do wrong too, from our sin and shame. When we do things we shouldn't, or shout, or get cross and angry at people. We just need to say sorry, and he will forgive us. Is there anything you need to say sorry for? I thought of an idea to do some creative prayer, and all you need is some felt-it pens and some stones, maybe from your garden you might have them somewhere. I don't know whether this is the kind of thing that you have for crafting. Now, I decorated some of these stones last year and we put them on the windowsill and they bleach out so you can decorate them again and again. And for this, you will need to think about today's story and what happened on Palm Sunday as Jesus rode into Jerusalem to all the cries and all the cheers and all of the excitement. Or you might want to get a Jesus Storybook Bible um, to help you think about your favourite part of the story or something to remind you of what will happen. Now, my favourite part of the story is where Jesus says, even the stones would cry out my praises because the whole of creation knew how amazing Jesus was that he had come to save people. So on my rock, I've done some musical notes for singing praises and I've written Jesus. And on the back, I've, I've drawn a heart because God loves us so very much that this was all part of his plan. And this is one that we did in our garden last year and we've got a cross and a rainbow which reminded us of Jesus' sacrifice on Good Friday but also that God keeps his promises. He always keeps his promises. So you might want to draw a palm branch or something that you can put it on your windowsill or use it as a paperweight. And when you look at it, you will remember Palm Sunday, the day that Jesus rode into Jerusalem to start that special, special week. So we're just gonna pray with our stones. You might want to do this later, um, but I'm just gonna pray for us all now. Father God, I thank you that you always, always keep your promises. I thank you that even before Jesus was born, you promised that you would send your saviour to Jerusalem on a donkey. And I thank you that you did. And I thank you that even the stones would cry out in praise of who Jesus is. So be with us today as we decorate our stones and tell you how much that we love you. And if that's your prayer too, you can say, Amen. Today, kids, it's been great to be with you on this Palm Sunday. When are we back? It's Good Friday. We will see you at 10 o'clock, Good Friday. Look out for your deliveries. Have a great week. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.